Good afternoon, everyone. I am Amrita Tiwari and uh, teach this video the financial management third unit cost of capital. So we can start with the introduction of cost of capital. So we start from the introductory part. What is cost of capital? The cost of India is the rate of return of the firms required from the investment in order to increase the value of the firms in a marketplace. The sources of the capital of the firms must be form of the percent shares and equity shares and debt and retained earning. In simple, cost of capital is a firm weightage average cost in the different sources of the financing. Components of cost of capital. First is written at a zero level. It relates to the expected rate of return when the project involves no financial risk or business risk. Financial business risk premium. Generally, business risk premium is determined by the capital budgeting decisions or the investment proposals. If the firms select a project which has more than the normal risk, the suppliers of the firms for the project will naturally expect the higher rate of return than the normal rate of cost of capital increases. The financial risk premium. The financial risk premium relates to the pattern of the capital structure of the firms. A firm which is high debt contained of its capital the structure should have more risk than the firm which has the comparatively low debt contained. The above three components of the capital may be returned in other form of following equations. K, R0 plus B plus F. K is a cost of capital and R0 return at zero Level B is a business risk and F is a financial risk premium. Classifications of the cost of capital, historical cost and future cost, specific cost and composite cost, average cost and marginal cost, and explicit cost and implicit cost. The historical cost and future cost, historical cost are the cost which is incurred are the procurement of the funds and based upon the existing capital structure of the firm. It is a book cost. The future cost of the firm, the future cost of the firm is related to the estimates, uh, is the is estimated, estimated for the future and simply it is a cost to the incurred of for the rising new funds and specific cost and composite cost. A specific cost refers to cost which is associated with the particular source of capital and cost of capital equity. And the composite cost is combined cost of different sources and capital taken together and cost of that, cost of equity, and cost of shares. Average cost and marginal cost. Average cost is a combined cost of the various source of the capital, such as equity shares, debentures, preference shares. Marginal cost of the capital is the average cost of capital, which has to occur due to the few few funds raised by the company and their financial requirements. Explicit cost and implicit cost. Explicit cost is the cutoff rate of internal rate of return. And implicit cost of the rate of return related to the past investment opportunity of firms and its shareholders that will be foregone in the order to take up a particular project. The computations of the specific cost include cost of that, cost of reference shares, and cost of equity shares, cost of retain earning. Uh, we can discuss the this videos only the cost of that and cost of equity shares and computations of the specific cost cost of debt it is a rate of return with expected by the lenders cost of the kd is a cost of debentures and debt is i upon np and kd is a cost of debt and i is a interest and np is a net proceed when debt is issued at par the np face value upon issue Issue its cost expenses and when the debt issue is at a premium, and NP is equal to face value plus premium minus issue expenses. When the debt issue at a discount, NP is a face value discount minus discount minus ex, uh, discount 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 minus the issue expenses. Cost of redeemable debt before tax. The redeemable debt uh, refers to the debt in which to the redeemed or repayable after the expiry of the first period of time. KD before tax is I plus P minus NP upon N and P plus NP upon 2. I is an annual interest payment. P is a par value of 
debentures and NPA is a net proceed of the debentures and N is the number of year of maturity. The cost of redeemed tax after tax, KD, KD is before tax, 1, mi uh, one minus D and cost of existing tax, cost of existing tax before tax, annual cost before tax upon average value of tax, average value of tax AV is NP plus RV upon 2, AV is average value and N and is an NP is a net proceed and RB is a redeemable shun value. Cost of preference shares capital. Normally, a fixed rate of dividend is payable for preference shares, but is a practical sense. Preference dividend is regularly paid in companies when they earn sufficient amount of profit. Cost on irredeemable preference shares capital. KP is equal to DP upon NP. KP is a cost of preference shares capital. And DP is a fixed preferential dividend and NP is a net proceed of preferential capital. This is a problem. We take we take next slides in the um, in my next videos. And the cost of redeemable preferentials. Redeemable preferentials are those which is redeemed after expiry of the specific period of time. KP C plus uh, D minus NP upon N and D plus NP upon 2. C is an annual dividend and D is a par value of the preferentials and is a number of maturity and NP is a net procedure. Cost of equity shares. The cost of equity capital may be defined as the minimum rate of return in the form earn on it investment and also market price of the equity shares in unchanged. Dividend price is D upon NP and KE is the cost of equity capital and D an expected dividend per share and NP is the net proceed per share. Dividend price plus growth, it is a method cost of cap equity and capital is a calculated basis and dividend yards the growth rate as in dividend. The KE, because the equity shares is fluctuated in market price, KE is, um, is equal to D upon NP plus G and KE is cost of capital and D expected dividend per, per share and NP is a net proceed per share and G is a growth rate in dividend. Thank you for the watching my video. Next, uh, we, we will discuss the all cost of capital method in, in the next slide. Thank you so much.